Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Jamaica has recorded another case of the coronavirus. This pushes to 13 the total number of cases here. And the health minister, Dr. Christopher Tufton, says the latest person is linked to the first patient who came to Jamaica from the United Kingdom. And the finance minister, Dr. Nigel Clark, has announced that banks have agreed to forego the reduction in asset tax for a year to allow the government an additional $3 billion for COVID response. At the same time, he has announced that the SCT will be waived on 100,000 liters of alcohol and customs charges have been lifted from liquid soaps, sanitizers, masks and gloves for 90 days. And also speaking in Parliament today, Prime Minister Andrew Holness said employers shall determine which staff members may work from home and allow them to do so for the next seven days. The Prime Minister also said employees whose assigned tasks may be only done from the business place are required to report there for work. In other news, the police are now investigating how two firearms and more than 60 rounds of ammunition were stolen from a cop at the Providence Housing Scheme in Santa Cruz St. Elizabeth on the weekend. The cop is reported to have said he was asleep when the weapons went missing. In sports, horse racing resumed at Caymanus Park today but without spectators, following a ban on public gatherings of more than 20 people. Meanwhile, the Diamond League has postponed the first three meets that were scheduled for April and May. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $136.25, the British pound sterling for $165.93, and the Canadian dollar for $97.21. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be partly cloudy across northeastern parishes and mainly sunny otherwise with windy conditions across northern parishes. The afternoon will be partly cloudy and windy mainly across northern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.